it must be pretty rough with the first up performance, mate. Yeah, it was a solid performance, and I reckon until you actually play for points, you don't really know where the group is. You can you can tell off your training and you know how your um, your structures are going at training, but to get that sort of pressure, you just don't know. And today, I thought they executed really well, so it's a pleasing start. There's obviously a lot of questions about. The list's been spoken about how good it is, but how long it might take them to gel. Obviously, you've shown there that it's not too long at all. No, I think I think that was always in the back of my mind. It's it's funny you kind of you do get protective of your group, and you know, I heard a lot of people sort of saying, "Are they going to gel and everything like that?" I just I just knew they would, um, particularly because you see them around training and in how they handle it um, upstairs and and the social aspect. And I think that in girls' footy, it's that sense of belonging which we we always speak about, and I knew they had that. Um, but I wasn't quite sure that how they'd cope, um, I suppose, from a skills perspective under pressure. But they did all right. There's a, there's a lot of growth areas there for us as well, which is terrific. But, uh, yeah, it's a tight competition and you just... You know, it's not just a matter of just jelly, it's a matter of playing good footy for seven weeks because as soon as you drop a week, um, the competition's too tight. And um, you know, GWS next Friday night, they'll come out really hard at us. Is everyone's going to be impressed by the performance and, and what you've got at your disposal? Is it, do you have to temper that at all now, having put a performance like that straight up? Or? No, we've, we've built the program on that it's a nine-week competition for us. So um, everything we've done from the way we've trained to how we've structured, game plan, the style of footy, um, the learnings, it, it's, um, it's all built to, to play in that week nine of the competition. And, you know, it's, it's like anything. You, you kind of always try and head for excellence. And if you fall just short, at least you're going to be pretty good. And, and that's the philosophy we've taken. So it'll be just a matter of, um, you know, buttering up again next week and, and seeing how we go against a really good opposition. What did you make of your captain's performance? Yeah, really solid. I thought she um, she played a multiple, multiple roles, played up forward a little bit as well. And... Um, I'm just again. I'm mindful of um, of using her attributes, which are which are leadership and ability to read the play. And if we can find a secondary position up forward, um, it just makes it harder for her to be tagged um, for long. And uh, yeah, she's she was really solid today. I thought she did a, a, a great performance. Not not so much from you know just on field, but also what she's done in the build up to this game has been phenomenal. Is that sort of the plan to move her around a bit depending on where you need her? Yeah, and versatility of the list was what uh, we built. So, we're absolutely, we want to be hard to match up on, but we also want to be mindful that we want to get through nine weeks, not just seven. So, uh, it's it is about putting players, I suppose, forward, back. What have we got to do to give them that secondary position? So that should we be unlucky enough to have a few injuries, we, we know that we can still play some pretty good footy. Emma King, you Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. And I, I think she's um, she's just itching to go today. She was. You can just tell in her eyes, it's, uh, she doesn't need too much revving up or anything like that. And I was really pleased that she was able to impact up forward. And, um, you know, we might see her down back as well at, at stages this year as well, particularly when we play taller sides. So we've trained that way. And, um, yeah, and that's what, we, what's what we're going to do. I guess the Tassie trio in there when the Colts did some nice things early and we saw that goal in that last quarter as well. Yeah. Were you happy with how they said Absolutely. Started? I thought they were really good. Um, Brick Gibson as well, you know, impacted and... Nicole Brisenden's one of those players that um, she's going to be a superstar and she, her learning, ability to learn and um, her thirst for knowledge is incredible and um, it's, it's no surprise that she performed well today because she just put so much into her game off field and I think um, potentially she'll play midfield for us at some stage this year and definitely going forward in the years to come um, and Emma Humphrey's the same, she just takes ground and delivers the ball and it's not about, you know, occasionally they're going to turn the ball over because they're passing they're playing that frenetic type footy, but you don't mind if, if they get, you know, out of 10 kicks, seven go right, you're pretty happy with that. Thanks, Thanks all. Thanks, Thanks. Thanks. Thanks.